Welcome to Speed Round Sunday on the Parenting Roundabout podcast, where we share a mini episode from our past for your weekend listening pleasure. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode. Uh, Now, this question was spurred on by my husband's poor choice in movies lately. <laughs> like I the plane he, crash movie yeah, when your like, daughter yeah, was on a plane. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's exactly what happened. So um, I was thinking, you know, my husband loves, and he also, if you've been listening to this podcast, you also know that he watches the same movies over <laughs> and over and over again. It's like Groundhog Day in real life. Um, <laughs> So, and of course, I complain about them all the time. So I was wondering, what book or movie do you think is just highly overrated or overplayed or overused, overseen, overtalked about anything <laughs> just that other people seem to love and you just cannot stand? Catherine. Well, the, f- the first one that came to mind for me was um, the Dragon Tattoo books hmm. series oh. you know the girl with the dragon tattoo and then there's a couple yeah. more after that and they recently just came out with yet another one even though the author died they brought in somebody else to write another one and um i read the first one and i was like oh I, I hate this <laughs> and i know everybody loves it there's been multiple movie adaptations and people were so excited that there was a whole series and nope no, 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 not, not for you. It. Not for me. Do not like it at all. Hmm. Don't like the story. Don't like the writing. Nope. Huh. Hmm. I'm out. Terry. <laughs> <You're done>. <laughs> 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 then I will not open up a book. <laughs> I'm sure there have been things like that in my past. I'm sure if I... I don't feel like I feel that strongly about much entertainment anymore. I mean, there's stuff I like strongly and stuff that I'm not interested in. I feel kind of live and let live about. I just thought of another one. That can be yours. Or I can take your spot. (laughs) Go ahead and do yours. I have one that I can sort of talk about, but I'll, I'll just say it very quickly and then we'll go back to you. I will say that when my kids were young, I would have been very happy if everything in the world had not been Harry Potter and Mm. there had not been an expectation that everybody must love this. It is the most wonderful thing ever written. It is fantastic. Let's make every kid's event Harry Potter related. Let's make a big deal about every movie. My kids could not get into Harry Potter and I read some and it was fine, but it did not change my life. So, um, you know, but I'm granted I read, I probably read the first one cause I had to read it to my daughter cause she was reading it in fourth grade and there were vocabulary lists with made up words oh on them. God. And it's just, I was, I just am over it. <laughs> I was over it before I even had anything to do with it. So if people could shut up about it or just have a normal degree of fandom about it, that'd be okay. <laughs> A normal degree. I don't, is there such thing as a normal degree of fandom? <laughs> I I think there are different degrees of fandom. The, the, for a while, Harry Potter had pretty much taken over the entire culture, and there was nothing else. And I, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's just because I was defensive because my kids were not able to be into it. So or interested in it in any way at all, even a little bit. <laughs> so everybody else for a while, all the other parents got a free ride because their kids were excited by Harry Potter so they could just be into that. And I had to keep thinking. <laughs> so maybe that's the source of my resentment. There you it go. Could be. All right. What was your other thing, Catherine? Rant on. Oh, um, Jodi Picot books. Any. <gasps> oh, yes. yeah. I was so ticked by that one. I don't think I've read any of her other ones because I was so ticked by what was the big one that she had about the the girl who died. Yeah, the sisters or the one. Yeah, no, the one with the sisters and yes, yes, that was the one. My sister's keeper, I think it was called. Yeah, I say boo. No, yes, (laughs) not in that one. Yeah, I know. I read like two or three and I was like, no way. I'm done. 
I'm out. <laughs> and also, out. this another thing that we've talked about a long time ago on the podcast is, in speaking of kids' books, Magic Tree House. Yes. <gasps> oh, now that, oh, I love that, the Magic Tree do not house. speak evil See, of Magic Tree House. Amanda <laughs> and I were firmly in the camp of no way, no how. And you guys were like, oh, we love the Magic Tree this House. This is what you have to understand <laughs> about ca- Magic Tree House, Catherine. <laughs> When everybody else my kid's age was into Harry Potter. They were into Magic, Magic Tree House. House was what they were able to read. I love Magic Tree House was our Harry there Potter. You, go. you know, a yeah. little bit of magic, a little bit of story. Don't ask too many questions about what the heck was with these kids' parents <laughs> that they're coming fragments. home with. Ashes of Vesu- from Vesuvius in their hair and nobody says, <laughs> you were just at the tree house? Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. But still, I, I was them. so delighted that my kids would read yes. anything that I kiss the ground the Magic Tree House rocks on. Grows out yeah. of, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Magically it transports Thank itself you. to. <laughs> <laughs> and now I have removed any literary credibility <laughs> from myself for saying, down with Harry Potter, up with Magic Tree House. <laughs> this is my life, y'all. That's okay. <laughs> I'm going to get some hate for my, yeah, maybe for my overrated TV show. Uh oh. <laughs> which I've recently Uh-oh. not. I've recently. Don't say Parks and Rec. Because Uh-oh. Of, Don't say Parks and Rec. No, I won't <laughs> say Parks and Rec. Better not say anything no, we like, Missy. Well, I don't, We're gonna I don't turn know. We're going to turn this podcast it. around. You haven't seen it. Okay. But I'm just, I'm so upset with some of the way the characters are just becoming and who they are and they're just so self-righteous and whiny and complainy and well you have to narrow that down quite a bit because that's almost all television so i can't i can't watch Uh, this is us anymore i'm sorry really it's just oh yeah oh come to my side of the table nicole (laughs) i lasted two episodes i'm done i just i got through the first season i think i watched the first episode of the second season and I just got really annoyed with a couple of the characters, and I was like, "I'm just so over this." Really, I am. Uh, so, so now, sadly, then there was one. I'll probably get some hate for this, but yeah, you'll have to talk yeah. about it to oh, yourself, well. Catherine. That's okay. I don't have strong feelings about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving you alone on this issue. And then the other one, the movie that I just really could never get into is kind of like my Harry Potter. Yeah. For, it was Harry Potter for adults. And that was Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've never seen that. any of those no, movies. I never, I never just, tried. If folks well, are into just, it, that's. I tried, tried my, but my husband read the books. My husband saw the movies. My kid read the books. He saw the movies. I was like, no, I can't do it. So yeah, little, little bit too. I don't know. Just didn't, maybe it's just cause I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> that must be it. <laughs> so anyway, those are our uh, our, our uh, attempts yeah, at controversy right here. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. And rant. <laughs>